Ra. RK is going to free me, your friend, your brother, Haji, Dr. Ocean Camp. In the Ra. Guy the Times, September 9th, 2024. President Ali blasts up no AFC for non productive, wasteful spending. Says recurrent expenditure was five times higher than capital projects. President Dr. Irfan Ali, on Sunday evening, detailed how the five years of non-productive and wasteful spending by the former, a partnership for national unity alliance for change up new AFC regime, plunged Guyana's econ economy into a re relapse between 2015 and 2020. He was at time responding to recent remarks made by former finance minister under the coalition administration, Mr. Jordan, who during an online streaming program suggested that the current People's Progressive Party civic government should reduce waste in public spending. Well, now, obviously, it will be time to be schooled by His Excellency, the President of Guyana, Mr. Winston Jordan, you have to be schooled. He believes that having at least a 10% reduction could create the enough fiscal space to offer teachers high salary increases. Why did you do it, Jordan? Why did the AFC and the PNCR didn't do it? Where were you? And I move on. However, during a live broadcast on Sunday evening, President Ali highlighted the difference between the policy-making matrix and the expenditure profiles of the two governments. He pointed out that between 2015 and 2020, Jordan's coalition administration current expenditure outstrips capital expenditures, which is in investments in major public sector projects and initiatives like building, buildings of schools, hospitals, necessary roads and social welfare spending. In fact, during 2019 alone, the last full year of their tenure in office, the APNO AFC total expenditure on local travels and related costs amounted to more than the entire capital budgets for Regions 1, Burima Waini, 2, Pomeroon Supernam, 3, Esequibo Islands, Demerara, 4, Demerara Mahaika, and 5, Mahaika Babi. So in 2019, the APNO AFC government spent on local travels and meals and other things to support that local travel, more money than they spent on health care, on their travel, on their food, and such things, more money, ladies and gentlemen, that was spent on agriculture, public transport, roads, all of these things combined for region one, two, three, four, and five. Can you imagine that? And Jordan, who was finance minister, overlooked this expenditure profile, he stated. So I don't know if Mr. Jordan, a guy generally I like, went temporarily blind. Likewise, on dietary, that is food and entertainment, the expenditure was also more than the entire capital budget for education and health sectors combined in 2019. Can you believe this? What these people were doing with your money? They were just enjoying their lives, traveling, eating, and living the, the superstar lifestyle. And that exceeded the budgets for healthcare and education combined. Not only did we lost because, because we care cash grants, there was no investments in education no new school, no spending on the maintenance of schools, no new hospitals. What they spent on dietary, on dietary and food for themselves and government 
was more than the entire capital budget for education and health combined. And we are talking about waste. So why did it take away the first thing they did, ladies and gentlemen, supporters of PNC, supporters of APNO. These guys like to eat and drink plenty. The AFC at that time, Ram Jatan. What about? They like to eat and drink so much that they took away you, the people, poor people in this country, the We Care Cash Grant, and that time was only $10,000. Now it's 40000 Can you imagine if these guys get into power, they would take away all those billions of dollars, according to this article, so that they could eat more? The AFC, the PNC, slash up no kind of thing, they will eat more and more, if they, get, if they took the 10,000 and did all of that along with everything else. I mean, what are these guys doing? What were they doing? Let me go back to the article. Why we have this collapse in education sector and the healthcare sector? Why we had a regression in terms of expansion of the economy? These are the reasons how the resources were spent. The president is guiding us. How the resources were wasted. The expenditure profile or the nature of spending by the APNU AMC government was that we term non-productive expenditure. Expenditure basically that constituted what we term the enjoyment of government by the APNU AMC elites. They added they were eating and drinking and frolicking and enjoying themselves, taking your cash grant, take, having more money spent on that than on repairing of schools or building new schools or repairing hospitals or building new hospitals. Moreover, the head of state went into outline, went on to outline that during the APNO AFC five years in office, Guyana recurrent expenditure had outstripped capital expenditure by five times. The over, the recurring, the, the expenditures coming and going, coming and going, exceeded capital, which is building structures, roads, things that will benefit people. How can that expenditure profile, the president is asking, contribute to improvement in productivity, contribute to improvement in competitiveness, contribute to improvement in healthcare, in housing, in education? That is why. We had no major transformative infrastructure during that period, he posited. And because of that, this gross jealousy for the new Demerara overhanging Harbour Bridge, which they tried to sabotage. They tried to stop it and wish it could not happen. And if they were to win the election, they would have stopped it as they did with hydroelectric. And with hydroelectric, you the people would have been paying 50%. And Ramjatan voted with the then PNC when they were separate, but were engaged to stop the funding and so hydro became history and we lost hundreds of millions of dollars because they didn't want to have a hydro where the PPPC government obviously or former government would have been having credit. The same thing they were trying to do using people in the neighborhood near the bridge to prevent the construction for the development of Guyana of the bridge. In contrast, President Ali explained that to fulfill his 2020 manifesto promises, the PPPC government heavily invested in capital projects, aim at delivering first-class social services, improve access to health care, quality education, improved water and sanitation, among other things. Well, um, you know, I have um, my wife, my life partner, partner, lady of my life, she brought me to Mitai. She takes care of her husband. Brought me a hot cup of tea. It feels good. Just came from the mosque. I'm blessed.
all of these investments are geared at creating opportunity, opening up expenditure, creating new industries, expanding the economy, expanding the private sector, expanding jobs, creating higher paid jobs and diversifying the economy. A key aspect of what we want to do, diversify the economy. So this is the brilliance of our president and our government. So what is it when they do these kinds of things and they have tenders and money, uh, tenders are awarded, money is circulated, people get jobs, higher jobs, more money, people get opportunities to invest and purchase more vehicles if you're contractors, if you are a security company or a small or big time contractor for roads and bridges and properties and buildings for government and repairs and so on. This circulates money for those who don't understand. This is what the president is trying to state. It is also known that the capital expenditure catalyzes economic growth. Capital to build road, uh, buildings and schools and repair them. It capitalizes, it causes um, the, the, the growth to expand and to develop and to create opportunities and employment. In Guyana, since it has a multi Multiplier effect, the head of state said, because in other words, multiply because the money is circulating. A person get a job, a person get a contract, they put money in the bank, they pay employees, employees gotta eat, they gotta buy groceries, they gotta buy food, some of them send their children to private school, they gotta buy books, and so on. They gotta pay transportation, they gotta pay, and so the money is circulating. So this is what the president means, it has a multiplier effect, the head of state stress. According to Ali, what the PPPC administration has achieved in the last four years alone was done with a fraction of the expenditure profile of the coalition re regime. In fact, he disclosed that the capital expenditure of his administration is more than 90% of the expenditure profile of the government's program. Let me read back that piece. In fact, he disclosed that the capital expenditure of his administration is more than 90% of the expenditure profile of the government's program. This is the difference where our priority lies, the Guyanese leader stated. Start to page 7. Yes? Page 7, APNO's economic failure. Meanwhile, Finance Minister Dr. Ashney Singh also com commented on Jordan's remark highlighted the discredited economic record of the APNO government from 2015 to 2020. Singh emphasized that Jordan's remarks not only reveal his ignorance, but also expose APNO's long-standing hostility towards Guyana's rural communities and the agricultural sector. Well, that is known. That is known. That is known. Because their strength is, uh, is not in those areas. And to make things worse, AFC and allegedly Ramjatan and, um, and Moses Nagamutu, politically it is said, betrayed the people. Jordan's criticism of the People's Progressive Party civic government for offering tax breaks and support to the agricultural sector shows once again, that APNU has no record for the back, backbone of our country or the livelihoods of the rural folk in Guyana. Singh stated, his comments make it clear that APNU has learned nothing from their disastrous handling of the economy, which resulted in widespread hardship for the people of Guyana. And they destroyed the sugar industry. They caused people to die. They caused people to commit suicide people to suffer depression, people to turn to thefts in order to survive without any preparation for the closure of the sugar estates, cause the national chaos by, not, by money not circulating in the economy. So if the government is able to help to support that by subvention, wages and salaries, the money is circulating back into the economy. And this is where APNU and AFC economic Policy is a national disgrace, to my opinion. 
The thing reminded the public that only Jordan's stewardship, Abnu introduced over 200 new taxes, fees and fines, including drastic increases in land rent for farmers and ta taxes on mining equipment, effectively crippling both sectors. It was Jordan as Abnu's economic czar who imposed the VAT on essential services such as electricity and water, it was free. And now that the Irfanali government is in power, it's VAT free. And medical supplies, making life more difficult for the average, and they had put even VAT on medical supplies, and books and so forth, which I protested, and, and private school, I protested. VAT! And I exposed it, and many of them were annoyed at me, and tried to destroy me for that, including the strongman of the then PNC, the biggest strongman he believed he was in the ministry of the presidency. Then they put vat on bread. You buy flour, okay, but if it's baked, you have to pay vat, so that they can get money to eat and drink, ladies and gentlemen. He continued, Jordan also removed this school children's cash grant. Well, I dealt with that enough. And the year-end bonus for the discipline services. Oh, yes, they were, they were cheating the discipline services. And why discipline services would vote for them now or in the past or in the future? I don't know. Literally taking money out of the pockets of tens of thousands of Guyanese families and that money would have been circulated back into the economy and this is where Jordan failed as an economic czar of the nation. The finance minister noted that Jordan's tenure was marked by severe economic mismanagement including the closure of several Guy Suko and Sugar Estates, I dealt with that, which resulted in over 7,000 job losses and devastation to tens of thousands of households reliant on the sugar industry, the spin-off industries in the towns and the villages with sugar, and then nationally as well. Jordan's latest commentary on teacher salary increases just more empty rhetoric from someone who had every opportunity Let me go back a little bit. Remember, this is in the raw. Jordan's latest commentary on teacher salaries increases just more empty rhetoric from someone who had every opportunity to improve the lives of Guyanese, including teachers, but instead brought hardship to households across the country. Dr. Singh concluded, this is timely reminder of why Apnu was booted out of office in 2020 and why the people of Guyana will continue to reject them for the foreseeable future. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud of the government of Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali. In the days of the APNU, when they did well, I spoke, others were vexed about it. But even at times, I would have applauded the Granger government for positive and rare few good things they would have done. Let us stand for Guyana, people of Guyana. You would have been paying 50% less for electricity had it, had it not been for the PNCR and AFC Ram Jatan and their team as they produce it politically cabal. 50%. And now they're trying to stop oil uh, gas to shore. They're trying to stop the Demerara new uh, overhang modern 21st century bridge. Your friend, your brother, me. Haji, Doctor, Roshan Kaninta. Oh. Say thank you. Farewell.